Brian Samuels is yet alive. He's not dead. He's not dead. And girl, Sierra went to the Oscars butt naked. Butt naked. Listen, Sierra is no longer my girl. She is no longer my girl. Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. I'm so loving and adoring. Thank you for your love and support. I thank you for those compliments on my skin. I just, you know, I take care of my skin. And uh, there's an ask me, Jesus, what do you put on my skin? Girl, you know, love. And my husband feeds me well and takes care of me. And I drink water. And I take my vitamins. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, your skin is so beautiful and clean. Yes, girl. I've always had beautiful skin and beautiful hair. Thank you. So I uh, want to thank you for your love and support. Hey, Remnants, thank you for all over in your Remnants. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, share this out if you can. So yesterday, I got a, I got a few comments about Kevin Samuels, and they were thinking he was alive because apparently his channel went live the other night, and there were people thinking that he faked his death and that the Godfather was about to come and sit in the chair. But no, that's not what happened. Uh, according to the word on the street, his daughter, Kay, I forgot her name, has gotten the, the trademark for Kevin Samuels, and so she's now taking over her father's red pill i saw somebody said red pill uh channel empire and so now she's in charge of his youtube channel i'm very happy for her she will make millions she will become a millionaire because i've been hearing that a lot of people has been stealing his content and because nobody was there to oversee it while you know they were taking care of the funeral arrangements and stuff like that. People are stealing his content and using it and getting money. And I just think that is so unfair for you to use somebody's video, you know, um, without their permission or, you know, not saying it's a clip or something, because as a writer, they do that to us a lot. It's called the pirates something when it, in the, in the, in the writing world, there are pirates who steal our content, publish it, and they get paid. So I'm very happy for her that she's taking over her father's content. And last night they had a birthday bash and they basically replayed some of his videos and some of his interviews. And um, so I guess they'll, she'll be replaying uh, the content. So, or whatever she's going to do with it. I'm very happy for her. I know a lot of people, black women are mad. I'm glad that Kevin Samuels is gone, but I just want you to be weird, honey. Kevin Samuels walked away of many black men. Most black men or many, I forgot what the numbers are, are not living to see 60. They are dying the age that Kevin Samuels died because we know the saying that black men don't go to the doctors, which is why I wanted a man who cared about his health, who went to the doctor, who had his own relationship with his doctor and his dentist and his God and his money, because I didn't want to have to drag anybody to go to the doctor. So while you're laughing and cheering that Kevin Samuel is dead, I hope you are talking to the black men in your family and encouraging them to go to the doctors because technically he just went the way of many black men. I've shared before how my husband, when he was feeling a little pressure in his heart, he's been working from home and uh, in his chest. And so we have an emergency room right here, like five minutes around the corner, 10 minutes walking. And he went, call me, babe, go to the emergency room. You know, I'm feeling a little tightness in my chest. Don't worry. Do the, well, honey, I was like, I got to go, child. My husband is going to the hospital. Went there, they did his EKG perfect, blood work perfect. Everything was perfect. The only thing was off that was his little blood pressure was a little bit high. The doctor said, it's okay. You know, people, blood pressure is just a little bit high when you're trying to get here. We'll test it again. They tested again and it was normal. Everything came back okay. They said, Mr. Thompson, you've been under a lot of stress. You know, maybe working from home, you know, final um, reports to my husband's director of marketing. And so they said, Mr. Thompson, uh, you are... Your test came back. You're fine. However, because of your demographics, we have to keep you. What are demographics? Black man in your mid to late 50s. Demographics, those black men, black men in their mid to late 50s, not making it to 60 are dying, are dying. So encourage your black man uh, to go to the doctor. And you know me, I'm not the type of person to be happy about somebody, somebody's death. That's somebody's father, son of man. You guys are just mad because you really didn't have a father to teach you. I'm not mad. I don't have the content for Kevin Samuels that a lot of people have. And the reason why I don't is because my father told me a lot of those things that he's saying. 
My father told me those things. My father told me uh, not to have any more babies. He said, you was young. You had a baby at 60. You can still get you a good black man, even though by Kevin Sanders, Samuel Sanders, I wouldn't have gotten a good, uh, a good black man. But I understand that I am the exception and not the rule. And I've told you, I've asked my husband, if I had another baby, would he have married me? And before I could get the words out of my mouth, he said, nope, nope. You were 16. You didn't know you... You, you had a baby, you kept her, you took care of her. You've been on the straight and narrow ever since. Why wouldn't I marry? You're wonderful. But if you had another baby, I wouldn't have married you. So a lot of what Kevin Samuel says, my father taught me those things. So I don't have the hate and the contempt for him that a lot of black women do. But I really do believe if you have fathers in your life to teach you, then, you know, but, you know, people are get a, to feel the way they, they want to feel. Now on to my girl, Ciara. Ciara is no longer my girl, okay? Ciara is no longer my girl because y'all know I love me some Ciara. It's just something about her. There are very few people in Hollywood that I can say that I really, I absolutely love and adore. And she is one of those women that I just absolutely love and adore. I am very happy for her. She reminds me, her and Russell reminds me of me and me and my husband, uh, the kid, he married you, so on and so forth. You know, but you see, I understand Ciara, okay? I understand her because I understand that Ciara, she's not really saved. You understand? <laughs> she's not really saved, saved. She is what the Bible calls lukewarm. She is what the Bible call a form of godliness denying the power thereof. And I understand she's an entertainer. But you can't tell me, ma'am, that you want me to believe this. And I, I can talk about this. And I can I can praise you. But for, you, for the rest of y'all crazy people don't want me to talk about this. But I have to talk about it. I have to talk about it. Because every time Ciara does something... The cousins are in my inbox. Janice, when you going to talk about this? Somebody even cash at me and said, girl, I'm waiting for you to do the video and see how be naked at the Oscars. Now, for most of you, I know. I know we laugh and we joke over here. And a lot of you, I know you, and I know you don't mean nothing bad by it. Okay? But every time she does something, some crazy mess like this, you know, the people be coming for me. Ciara, you can't expect us. And for those of you that's going to say we shouldn't judge her, I don't know where you get that from. The Bible says judge righteously. You can't expect me to believe this, Ciara, but not say nothing about this. I have to say something about it. And like somebody said, she was just at the prison. She was at the prison um, Saturday, ministering, laying hands, prophesying, speaking in tongues. So my beloved sister, how was you at the prison the day before prophesying, laying hand, laying on of hands? Sha na 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 na. But the next day you at the Oscars. You at the Oscars like this. I don't I don't understand. And see, that's why people be coming for me. Oh, you said you love her. You're not gonna talk about it. You're not going to talk about her. You say, you say that's your girl. You say you love her. When you going to talk about her? I'm talking about it. But you know what somebody said that she's, she's, he's, he's, he's her dom and they're role playing and all of this. First of all, I don't care what people do in their bedroom, married couples. I'm talking, I don't care what married couples do in their bedroom, but, uh, you can't tell me you're a man of God, sir. And it's okay for your wife to come out the house looking butt naked. I just, it's not appropriate. Not when, not when you're supposed to be naming the name of Christ. You, you can't name the name of Christ and say you're born again. You, they're not born again. How can you say that? The Bible says you will know them by your fruit. You will buy their fruits. You will know my disciples. Come on, somebody. 
And you know the people be coming over here. Okay, Janice, what you got to say about this? You said that's your girl. I want to show too much. You know, YouTube's been acting up, child. And somebody says, Janice, do you think she's going through her midlife crisis too? And you know what somebody else said to me? Ciara is with Russell because she can't be with the man she loved, the other, you know, the other street one out there. So if y'all want us to believe this, I mean, how, how do you make peace with this? Again, you name the name of Christ. You was just in the prison the day before laying hands, prophesying, na, 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 sa. and then the, the, the criminals in the jail turn on the Oscars, and there you go, butt naked. I'm just saying, how do you, how do you even that out? For those of you that's going to be in your feelings, how do you even out this? How, how do you make peace with that? No, she didn't name the name of Christ. I'd be like, girl, whatever. But you name the name of Christ. You're a married woman. He's supposed to be a man of God. I'm just saying it's not coming together for me. I have to go. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, we're going to try to do a married at first sight live later. Maybe. Okay. It starts snowing here in Jersey. Um, so I don't know what my day is going to look like. I also love you and adore you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Let me know what you think about Kevin Samuels. And Sierra and Russell, I'll be in the comments today. Love you. Bye.